Good morning, St. Pius. Happy Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. The first full day of spring, although it doesn't feel like it. Hey, we've got a, four birthdays today, all in the third grade. That's crazy. Happy birthday to Max, Madison, Christine, and Henry. Big party down in the middle wing today. Woohoo. Hot lunch, we've got French toast sticks or grab bag. After school clubs today, knitting, Hippocrates, pre-K kindergarten STEM, Easter craft, Good Shepherd, and chess club. A uh, big day for a lot of our second graders and some other students in the school today. We've got first reconciliation going on uh, 1.30 this afternoon. Uh, Miss Claire sent out an email uh, for dismissal instructions, so make sure homeroom teachers were taking a look at that. Um, like I said, it's spring, but it doesn't feel like it. A high of 46 degrees. Um, it says 80% rain, but I think that it was for overnight. So uh, hopefully we can get outside for recess today. Our Spike shout out today. So I want to give a, a, a quick shout out to K1. Every time I saw them yesterday, they were walk, walking so quietly in the hallway. Uh, so really proud of K1. Nice job working on that, guys. We can only imagine the confusion and fear the apostles felt as Jesus told them that one of them would betray him. Did they look at one another with suspicion? Did they search their hearts for a hint of betrayal? Today, we are called to search our own hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him and make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city, and found everything as he had told them and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he came with the twelve. And when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him, one after another, Surely not I. Jesus said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the bowl with me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. How can we search our own heart and pray that we may always stay true to Jesus? And I know sixth grade religion with Mrs. Deeb yesterday, uh, they were talking about examination of conscience. Uh, and that's what reconciliation is all about. Uh, when we're examining our conscience, right, we're, we're, we're listening to our heart, uh, thinking about what were some ways or maybe what were some choices that we've made um, that does not keep us true and close to Jesus. And that's what we're going to think about today. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, everyone, have a wonderful Wednesday.